All right, hello and welcome back to the Crossword Vlog, aka Clog, Friday edition. Um, we've managed to get ourselves on quite a little bit of a streak, especially if you um, forget about that fact that I didn't even attempt the Sunday puzzle, um, which I'm now kind of regretting. Uh, I think otherwise I would have had like a 10-day streak or something, <laughs> which would be tied with my longest. No, no, that can't be right. I think I'd be on like an 8-day streak. It's actually... <laughs> We're not in a rush here. Can take a quick look at the archives. Look at August. Uh, yes, so we would have started our streak around the 25th. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8. And even longer if I'd managed to get this Wednesday puzzle done. Wow. <laughs> so this is a pretty marquee month for, for me. Um, getting all of these puzzles um, solved is a pretty good result, but yeah, um, we're showing we have the capacity for long streaks, but not executing on that. Anyway, with that in mind, let's try to solve this one. All right, so, subject of some family planning, hmm, okay. Achaemenid Empire. I think the Achaemenid Empire is in like the middle, or like was in the modern day Middle East area. So this could be a Iran or Iraq, or it could be Oman or something. List out. Could be like in heaven, if this is Iran or Iraq. This could be quite, hmm, quite, <laughs> you know, someone might say that if they're a dweeb. Um, search and rescue target. Okay, quite is definitely wrong because hope, uh, hope <laughs> uh, means high in Paris. Um, like oat cuisine, um, means high cuisine. Delight. Anything else? That's a classic. Okay. Um, they may get all tied up. Don't know. Pings can mean locations, but that doesn't fit. Like pings on a radar. Um, possessive noun. Mm, don't know what that means. Breathing apparatus. Not sure. Trespasses. Could be like sins. You know, the, the, what's it called? The Lord's Prayer. It's like, forgive us our trespasses. Um, if you're a Catholic, and then it's forgive us our sins if you're a Protestant, as we forgive those who trespass or sin against us. Um, expo freebies, swag. Um, <laughs> an expo could be like a, you know, a conference sort of thing. Not conference is wrong, but a convention, yeah. Um, and people set up booths and give out free t-shirts and stuff. Tiny bit. Iota. Romance. Um, if you woo someone over, it means to romance them. At the last minute is when a procrastinator does all the work. Ghana, maybe? No, Ghana starts with GH. Not something. Okay, fair enough. Got together. Hung out. Nope. Gabon is a country that starts with GA. You might have pasta in the penne shape with pesto. I mean, a lot of shapes work. Pesto's great. 
um, Bob Odenkirk's role is Saul, um, Saul Goodman, um, <laughs> and there's the whole Better Call Saul spinoff series, which just ended, I believe. Okay, Reckless... A top. If you're on something, you could be a top it. Pet something. Pet whisperer. Nope. Clutch. Ichi. Hmm. I was thinking it could be like a clutch on a car, but. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> can't translate that to another word. Landing spot for a bee. Hmm. Maybe find, if you gave someone a ticket. ID seems like a good ending there. Not by a mile, because I was thinking this would be yawn. Um, over yonder, for example. Got together. Hooked up. There we go. Sparklers. Hmm. Might end with an S. Probably. Wound. Or wound. Could be like snaked. Like snaked around a tree. Wound around a tree. Duel at dawn. Let's try snaked. Okay. Time. Like time's up. ACLU. American Civil Liberties Union. Not a peep. Means like be quiet. I guess Emma Roberts is the niece of Julia Roberts. That's cool. Uh, Julia Roberts. Um, known uh, for her cooking, I believe. She was one of the early, like, cooking show people, I think. <laughs> um, buckle holder could be a strap, and then Tim Reed. Okay, sounds like the last name. Andy Samberg, also known for his SNL history. Okay, I never watched Hamilton or listen to it. Jordan Gate Towers. Not familiar with that. I think it was Danny Ocean um, in the movie Ocean's Eleven. It's a, uh, they like rob a casino or something. What one might say before conforming. Hmm. Some bronze applications. Spray tans. Bronzer is like a tanning lotion. Butterfly attracting perennials. I don't know what butterflies like, to be honest. Real with hilarity. Could it be something to do with fishing? Could something raft? Hmm, don't know. A lot of things that could go there. When said three times. Oh, well, well, well. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Some Maybe real something? Juvenile joke. Amuse someone, delight them. Noted. Oh, Finding Nemo. Okay. Oh, if you were framed, that could mean you were set up. Identity, self. Rapid. Pet. I think 
find might be wrong, because I think this should be pet trainer, because they're good at controlling pets. Low main, noodle dish. Okay, tiny bit, a tad maybe. Maybe not. One who's a gym rat, someone who works out a lot. Chuck alternative. I wonder if this is like ground chuck meat, um, which is, you know, a cut of beef, basically. Um, a temp might be a fill-in. Act one. That's something that used to catch me off guard all the time, but this act I stuff, um, yeah, pretty common um, in crosswords, just because these letters are pretty common. Um, but yeah, I would be like anti, like <laughs> nothing fits there, but yeah, act one. Um, okay. The MoMA, Museum of Modern Art, is in Midtown, I think. So, right. Jonathan Van Ness, I believe. Chemist Nodak. <laughs> I don't know that, believe it or not. Not even familiar with what Rhenium is, embarrassingly enough. Named and names. So, um, saying is like some, it's, I think it's kind of old timey slang for uh, like uh, snitched, basically. Um, you know, you go to get jail, they interrogate you, and you tell them who your collaborators were to get an easier sentence. It means you saying. So, you named names. Chaz, right? Chess? Because I want this to be when. So, right. Hmm. I'm going to have some trouble down here. I can already feel it, but <laughs> I'll come back to that. A diving bell, um, very old, like original diving suit, basically, um, kind of like a submarine, basically an air hose connected to a <laughs> big chunk of metal. Hmm. Real mature, you might say that. In heaven, pedal. Okay, <laughs> I just don't know how to spell. Um, court calls. Tiny bit. Yeah, this can still be a tad. GEDs. No, that doesn't seem right. Gem sparkle. An atom is a tiny bit. Fester, rot, court calls. Oh, on a tennis court, um, you might get a let. Oh, a clutch is a type of purse as well, not just on a car, but yeah. Okay. Could be like Tory or something. Could also not be Tori. <laughs> um, okay. Possessive noun. Man, I'm struggling. Usually, 
usually the top left corner is actually one of the easier ones because um, you're basically guaranteed to have a bunch of... Okay, so in general, if you have the first letter of a word, it tells you more about that word, or it's easier to figure out what the word is than if you have the last letter. And in the top corner, you have a lot of first letters, right? Because you have both of these sides. And if you compare that to the bottom corner, um, if, for example, I fill this in, I get a bunch of last letters, but the, the first letters are scattered all around. Um, so for that reason, it's often easier, at least for me personally, to solve this corner than this corner. Um, but not feeling that. Oh, amen. Oh, when in Rome. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's all solved now. Chaz, I don't know what that is. But everything else seems right. Amman, sounds like a city in Jordan. Okay. Do the right thing. Real with hilarity. What's funny about fishing? <laughs> okay. Go slowly through this stuff. Am I planning? All tied up. What pings may indicate? Possessive noun. Could it be like a hoarder? I mean, obviously that doesn't fit, but something like that. Could be. Another name for Earth is Terra. Something like that. Something by me. Gave a ticket. Cited. You get a citation. Oh, a laugh track. Nothing to do with fishing. Rash, okay. A gill. Man, I went into all that. <laughs> um, diving bell information for no reason. Um, something law, maybe? Something games, because games can be tied. Close games. Ambi, maybe? Something trouble. Esters are smells Danish shoe brand slaw maybe a coleslaw oh man it's probably Cory right 
Corey Hilson. Carey could also be right. Osseo Davis. Davis Osseo. Could be Aussie Davis. Carey. I'll keep it as Carey for now, and then I might have to come back to that. Not a huge fan of <laughs> that cross right there. Um, um, owner, that's a noun that indicates who possesses something. I think Echo is a brand. Car Trouble. Torn. This Asters, I guess, because it's a state law. Oh, awesome. Wow. Um, that was an extremely fast Friday by my standards. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and admire the puzzle. I liked it. I thought it had a lot of good fill in it. Um, I mean, still, I think this was definitely a low point, this cross right here, but, um, yeah, <laughs> I think if I had started with O instead of E, I would have felt more annoyed, but I, at least there were only two possibilities there, but, yeah, definitely, definitely a misstep there, um, but yeah, state law, close games, car trouble, when in Rome, name names, spray tans, all solid fill. Cool to see them stock, stacked on top of each other. Um, and not by a mile and real mature, also good. Um, and at the last minute, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought this was sort of filled with um, interesting long fill. And I'm always more interested in the long fill than the medium fill um, when I solve puzzles, partly because that's what I'm like good at solving. Um, but yeah, in, in terms of the long fill, basically all throughout, there was a ton of good stuff going on. Um, definitely some, you know, <laughs> less exciting stuff going on with the short fill. You know, you got your Act 1s, your Eva. Um, eh, there's not really that much bad stuff in there. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, I thought this was a really successful puzzle. Um, I enjoyed solving it. <laughs> it was definitely easier than the average Friday, at least for me. Um, so yeah, I think I will give it a very respectable 7.5 out of 10. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.